the biblical prophecies are being realized. As the prophet Amos said, they shall rebuild ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. They shall till gardens and eat their fruit. And I will plant them upon their soil, never to be uprooted again. Veshavti etshvut ami Israel, uvanu arim neshamot vayashavu. Mr. Netanyahu, you may think you're surrounded by enemies on every side, but remember too that you have many, many friends who are praying for you daily and who are supporting you. But more importantly, we have an amazing, awesome God, a God who will not forsake you. He will not let you down. He will fight for you and he will win. From Deuteronomy, but from there you shall seek Yahweh your enemy and shall find when you search for him with all your heart and with all your being in your distress when all these words shall come upon you in the latter days then you shall return to Yahweh your enemy and shall obey his voice God bless you sir Shalom, my name is Paul I stand with Israel, I pray for Israel and that I shall be the best Writes the word, but the word is the sword of righteousness. Shalom! We are the Holbert family in Prey, Montana, located within the United States. While American leadership may have failed Israel, we, the Holbert family, stand united with Israel. Shalom! Shalom! Greetings, Rabbi Danun and Prime Minister Netanyahu. We are uh, making this video from Oregon. We are born again Christians and we thoroughly support Israel and the Israeli people, God's people. We keep the Sabbath. We've adopted God's holy days and festival days ourselves. So we're sort of a blend of Christian and Judaism. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Hello, uh, Stephen Denoon and Benjamin Netanyahu. I want to let you know that we support you. We've been reading the Old Testament. We see the miracles God worked for his people, chosen people, the Israelites. I want you to know no matter how many enemies surround you, you are God's chosen people. And I want you to have faith like Joshua, and he was given all the, all the lands of the Holy Land. And we're here praying for you every day. I want you to know that we love you. Good day, Benjamin Netanyahu. My name is Kyle Winans from Stratford, Canada. My wife and I want to let you know that we pray for you every day and that we wish God's blessings upon you. And as Christians, we want to let you know that we support you and your country and wish that God would bless you during this difficult time. Shalom, Benjamin Netanyahu. This is from the Plummer family in Georgia, in the USA. And we want to tell you we stand with Israel. I know hardly anybody is anymore, and you're right. Everybody has gone against Israel. But you got to remember who we serve is the most high God, Hashem. And looking to the Vatican is not the answer. The Vatican is not the answer. They are the very ones that hold gold from the Jews they stole from in the Holocaust. Do not, please do not make that mistake. And I just want you to know that the one who does have the answer is the one that gave you the very spirit 
inside of me. The one who created it. And the very one who set this up. Yes, I'm talking about the issue. To atone for our sins. And until you personally and all the Jews of Israel accept Yeshua as the Messiah, as he is the Messiah, then Israel is going to fail until you accept that. Shalom. Hello, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This is the Reed family from Tri Cities, Washington. We are in absolute support of the Jewish people, God's people. Love them, we pray for, for them, we pray and daily pray for you. We stand strong with Israel. God bless. Hi, President Netanyahu. Uh, my name is Benjamin here. I'm, I'm not Jewish, I'm Christian, uh, born of French and English. And I um, just want to let you know that I'm, I stand behind uh, Israel until the end. To the people of Israel, to Benjamin Netanyahu and those advisors, staff, personnel, and members of the Knesset, those who seek the peace and welfare of the State of Israel, may God bless you. Benjamin, sir, knowing that you served in the IDF, I know that even now there are many serving in the IDF who discuss privately among themselves prophecies contained in the Bible that concern the nation of Israel and what the future will bring. There are many of us in the Christian community who will not cease. We will not keep silent in the public places or in private in our support of the State of Israel, spiritually and in every means, but most of all prayerfully, for it is Hashem who will be your Savior. Not any man, country, organization, or agreement. Above all things, please remember this. God bless you. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Shalom, Israel, from Grapevine, Texas. My name is Joy, myself and my twin sons, Joshua and Jeremiah. We stand behind you, Israel. Many surround you, Israel. They're trying to do you harm, but I tell you this. Yeshua loves you. You are his beloved. You are his chosen, and he stands at the door just waiting for you to answer. Remember Esther? She had deep faith, courage, combined with resolution. She was in the king's favor. She was born for such a time. She was raised up by the hands of Hashem to avert destruction and annihilation of the Jews. History is repeating itself, Israel. Yeshua called for me, and I'm in favor of the king. I was born for such a time as this. He has a gift for you, Israel, and a warning. The devil is in the Vatican. Be warned. The Nazi rat lines, don't forget it. They are consulting against you, Israel. They are conspiring against you, Israel. They are consulting against thy hidden ones also. They are lying. Do not trust the Vatican. Your counselor has not perished. Yeshua, my beloved, beautiful, precious, Jesus, call on him. He's amazing and glorious. I tell you, I have a testimony that is amazing, and it is not just for my salvation. It is for yours also, Israel. It is a gift for you. He is your victory. He is the name above all names. No one can stand against the great I am. Your times of trouble are coming, but you know what? All you need to do is call on Yeshua. His mighty hand will be over you. You will be in his protection. God bless you, Israel. Prime Minister, my name is Julia Ferris. I'm the wife of John Ferris, and we live in Social Circle, Georgia, United States. We have seven children that we have taught to support Israel and to believe that Israel belongs to the Jewish people. We stand with you until the end, and we want you to know that Hashem's promise is at hand. Look up, for your redemption draws nigh. Hi, we're the, the Heavenly, Heavenly Family, family from, from Australia, Australia, and we, we support, support Israel! Israel. Hello, Brother Steve Danoon, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. My name is Harvey Lambert. I just want you to know that the Lambert family stands with Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and believe that Christians who hold on to the oracles given Jacob will also be faithful to the sons of Jacob. Shalom. Hi, my name is Tatum Kalfoglesanger and I'm doing a video for why I support Israel. 
Um, in December of last year, I got saved. And uh, June this year, I got even closer to Yeshua. And I was going through a lot of surgeries. And I ended up doing a tithe to Jonathan Burnus Ministries. And I'll show you how much I love Israel. I got my little shofar. And I think I'm saying right, Tali. Tali. That I, as you can tell, I keep it, it's pretty sacred to me. Um, being a Gentile and you know, from the Bible, um, there are people out there like myself who do respect Israel, respect you, Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. We all are praying for you. Um, but again, you know, I don't know of any other leader who is leading a nation as well as you are. And we are praying for you. We love Israel. We support Israel. We are all united. And uh, Israel is basically the mel melting pot of every nationality in one. Uh, and that's beautiful. So if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here, uh, your nation and your people. So here's my tallit. I want to blow my shafar. Uh, <laughs> this is the second time I ever tried it. So I'm going to try to do it just like JN1 uh, News does, okay? <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. May I, what, shalom. Thank you. Hello, Video Man DVD here. I'm doing this video to show my support for Israel, and I have a message for the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. And it comes from 1 Kings 19, um, verse 18, when uh, God had to show Elijah that there were 7,000 prophets who had not bowed their knees to Baal or uh, use their mouth to kiss the idols of Baal. Um, God had showed Elijah to, in order to uh, reassure him that uh, God was in control of things and that he had preserved 7,000 souls. And um, we're living in some very interesting times. And I'm just here to let you know that God has preserved those who have given their lives for the gospel and who believe with their hearts and ready to put their lives on the, on the line for the scripture in Romans 11 where it says God is not finished with Israel and we believe that with our hearts and our lives and um, we just want to say that we love you and we pray for Israel's peace and we continue to pray for your safety as well all Jews around the world we love you and we stand with Israel Hi, Mr. Netanyahu. I'm Charity Rossick, and I support Israel. Hello, my name is Misha, and I live in Fukushima, Japan. This is a message for Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, I support you, and God bless Israel. Um, hello, Mr. Ben Netanyahu. Um, we are the children of Stephen Ben Danun, and we just want to tell you we support Israel. Hello, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and all the people of Israel. My name is Robert and I live in Brunswick, Maine, the United States. And I want to let you know that I stand with you 100%. And I pray to Yahweh, our Elohim, for his divine protection for all you people in the wake of what's going on in the, in the Middle East as well as in the world today. I pray that he will be sending his son soon to gather us home and bring and establish his kingdom for all of us. So I want to let you know that I love all you brothers and sisters over there and hope that things go well for all of you. Thanks. Prime Minister Netanyahu, I am from Slovenia. From my age, I know the history of Israel's people a som z celého srdca s vámi, poznám aj kresťanské, kresťanskú históriu, ktorá neustále utláčala váš národ. Cítim s vámi a som s vámi. Greetings, people of Israel. And I say shalom to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We love you, my brother. And I just want to say quickly, to the nation of Israel 
and two, Mr. Prime Minister. The Christian people that are true Christians unconditionally stand with you and your people. And we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray that Hashem cover you and protect you from your enemies that surround you. I say God bless you and may Hashem be with you. Shalom, Mr. Netanyahu. This is Steve Benun and Yana Benun. Uh, we want to tell you that we love you, we love Israel, and we know that Israel exists today because it's a will of God Almighty, God of Israel. Uh, me as a woman, I want to thank you for your country because this is the only country in Middle East that provides women with equal rights and democracy, and this is extremely comforting to me. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Couldn't be better said. Prime Minister, we love you. We stand behind Israel. And we know our people are going through a very difficult time. Uh, we ourselves are beginning the Aliyah process to come home. And our passion has been to educate amongst the Christian communities that Israel is still God's chosen people and that there's no room for replacement theology. Clearly, as the Tanakh has said, we would return home. Our people are coming home, and we stand behind our people and are rallying. The Christians that you're seeing on this video, we have come to them and asked them to show their support. And the, just the few that you see represent thousands upon thousands of like-minded Christian people that stand with our people. God bless you. We love you, Mr. Netanyahu. We love you, Israel.